Hey guys, Nova Joe here. Uh, today I bring you a video uh, covering all the sniper rifles for the Ranger. Uh, I've been going through my list here of weapons, uh, trying to complete my listing for the Ranger, and I realized that my, sti my sniper rifle collection is complete, so I thought I'd show, show off each of the sniper rifles to you all and let you see uh, the differences between them. So, let's get into it. All right, first off, we're gonna take a look at the MMF-40 and the MMF-40RA. The MMF-40 has a very slow projectile, but then again, it's the very first sniper rifle in the, in the lot. Doesn't have a very good range. Oh yeah, actually, there it goes. And I am playing on easy. Man, that is a very slow projectile. Okay, let's try out the MMF 40RA. A little bit faster. Next up, we have the Stringer and the MMF 41. All right, starting with the Stringer here. It's got a much better zoom and a very powerful shot, but an extremely slow reload. Extremely slow reload. Next up, MMF 41. Okay, the shot is fast, but it is not accurate. It goes all over the place. Has a pretty good, pretty good range on it. Okay, uh, next up is the MMF 41 B3 and the Lysander. Starting with the B3. Okay, it's a three shot burst. Quick reload, but it's uh, a slow setup between the shots. So once you fire the three round burst, it takes a second for it to uh, rechamber the next round. Next up, the Lysander. That's got a powerful shot slow rechamber takes a while to get the shot back in to get a shell back in extremely slow rechamber but a powerful shot and a moderate reload next on the list the MMF 42 and the Nova Buster Start with 42. Okay, doesn't have a huge range to it. Has an accurate shot. And a fairly fast reload. Not a bad little sniper rifle for the lower difficulties. It chambers fast. It reloads fast. Next up, the Nova Buster one shot and that was it <laughs> and there you have it the Nova Buster now we're looking at the MMF 42 RA and the zero laser rifle here's the RA got a good zoom three round burst uh, the range has been decreased. Got a very shallow range. See, I'm still not even hitting them. Okay, let's see here. Wow, it's got a very short range to it. Quick rechamber, though, and a quick reload. So, as a sniper rifle, it's not not bad but just doesn't have the range of the other ones now for the zero laser decent zoom oh and you can hold it in and once it's gone it's gone so there's the zero laser rifle now we got the MMF 43 and the MMF 43 B2 Let's start with the basic 43. 
Got a quick shot, fairly accurate. Little off center. Not a bad range. Got a moderate reload. Not a bad sniper rifle at all. Next up, MMF 43B2. Two round burst. Quick rechamber. Ooh. Somewhat slow reload, but not bad as a sniper rifle. Definitely, definitely a good sniper rifle for uh, the easy and normal difficulties. Okay, now we're getting into the mid 30, mid level 30 range weapons. We got the Stringer J2 and the MMF 50. Start with the J2. Oh, that's got some good range. It's a one shot, mm, fair, moderate reload. Only good at a long distance. Uh, I wouldn't even recommend using this at medium range just because of how slow the reload is. I think I noticed it has some kickback. Let's see. Yeah, it knocks you back too. So be careful using this on uh, buildings because it could uh, send you over the edge. And here's the 50. Got a extreme zoom. It does not fire straight at all. It's got a terrible accuracy as you can see I'm aiming right at that ant and it goes down to the bottom right and that one went to the top left and that one way high left I do not recommend using the MMF 50 at all wow you never know where your shots gonna go it does not go dead center at all got a quick fire rate though I'd be willing to say is because of how fast it fires you'd be safer to use this as an up-close weapon But there's a lot better weapons for that. So I'd steer clear of the MMF 50 Okay, now we got the five card XA and the Lysander 2 starting with the XA Fires five shots at once Hence the five card Does not have a very far range on it yeah it, it's uh does not have the range of the other ones there we go it's, it's not a bad range though it's still getting them it's got a quick fire rate quick rechamber the sh the shot pattern is somewhat tight so not a bad gun to use it has a somewhat quick reload well not I shouldn't say quick a moderate reload speed so there's the five card xa next up the lysander 2 has a much more extreme zoom oh very slow rechamber but very accurate nice seven round magazine uh, but a slow reload now we're in the mid to late 40 level 40 range weaponry we got the MMF 100 and the five card XB MMF 100 has a slower shot not a very good range on it uh, does rechamber extremely fast not bad distance it, you can definitely pick off some stuff at a good range uh, has a fairly quick reload and the accuracy is pretty spot on the mmf 100 is not a bad sniper rifle at all next up five card xb has a Quick rechamber. 
shot pattern not bad about the same as the other five card didn't really get to test the range too much on it okay there we go you can see the dirt where it's hitting the dirt out there oh yeah it's taking the trees out okay so it did hit one of the trees on the far side so it definitely has a much better range this is not a bad sniper rifle it's actually uh even pretty good for crowd control <laughs> all right so there's the five card xb now we're in the level 50 weaponry we got the stringer j3 it's a one shot and the nova buster da a one shot all right let's try the range here on this it's got extreme range and an extremely slow reload speed but it's a very accurate shot next up the nova buster da okay that was uh had some nice range to it and what looked to be a fairly potent blast i did not look at the damage output on it but it's a one and done shot so it's it's more reserved for uh blasting a boss or if you have a uh, uh air raider on your team who can sling some energy rechargers on you so <laughs> other than that there's the nova buster da next up we got a level 60 and a level 70 weapon the mmf 200 and the lysander f Here's the 200. Nice range. Fairly accurate shot. It stays pretty much within the reticle. But there is enough play with the shot that it's not pinpoint accurate. And you can miss a shot even if you have the crosshairs dead center of a target. And it's got a moderate reload speed. Fairly quick rechamber though. Oh, not fairly quick. It is a very quick rechamber. Time for the Lysander F. Very extreme zoom. And a very good range. Let's check the rechamber speed. Very slow rechamber. Very slow. Let's see here. Let's check the accuracy. Yep, accuracy spot on. The reload is fairly slow. Try to pick that tree off right there. Okay, definitely accurate. Lysander F, MMF 200. All right, guys, next up is the Nova Buster ZD and the Stringer J9. Nova Buster ZD, let's try the hillside. Yeah, extreme range, extreme range. And we're in the, we're in the higher tier weaponry now, so it definitely packs a punch. Stringer J9. Definitely has extreme range as well. It's a one shot, very slow reload. Only recommend using it if, uh, you're fighting some of the bigger the bigger boss creatures also be careful using it on a building this one has some uh, fairly significant kickback so there's the nova buster zd and the stringer j9 all right guys last up the last two sniper rifles the hercules and the lysander z let's see what we can do on inferno against the Argenis. here comes the hercules Actually, I don't think I'm hurting it yet. <laughs> anyway, the Hercules has a very quick rechamber speed. Has a fast fire rate. Very fast fire rate. And the shot is dead on accurate. There we go.
Nice zoom. And a fairly quick reload. Now, for the pinnacle of the sniper rifles, the Lysander Z. Let's see if we can bring the big boy down with it. Now I get into a range here where I can actually show you. Whoa! All right, here we go. Has a wow, <laughs> very intense zoom on it. Very slow rechamber, very slow rechamber, but it's also packing 6,000 points of damage. Whereas the Hercules was only packing 2,500 points of damage. And the Lysander Z is a very accurate weapon, it's pinpoint accurate. Where you aim is where it goes. But it has an extremely slow rechamber. But packs a significant wallet. And it does have a uh, fairly slow reload. So let's check out that reload again. There it is. Yeah, fairly slow. Very slow. <laughs> Not fairly. Very slow. Now for the Hercules one more time. It's firing 2,500 points of damage with each shot. Very fast rechamber. Very accurate. Nice moderate zoom. And a quick reload speed. It packs a punch on a boss. So let's look at it this way. The Hercules puts 2,500 points of damage in with each shot, and it's one shot per second. The Lysander Z puts 6,000 points of damage in what seems to be about every three seconds. Man, that's slow. Very slow, but it is a heck of a punch, guys. <laughs> heck of a punch. That's 6,000 points of damage all at once. But for sheer speed, I would have to say that the Hercules, with its quicker reload and its quicker rate of fire is the more punishing of the sniper rifles it's because you can put a shot in much quicker I can get 5,000 points of damage in in two seconds whereas it takes me I can put 5,000 points of damage in in two seconds. Sorry, guys. Anyway, this is on Inferno. So that Organis is taking a beating. So anyway, guys, we don't have to hang around to watch this thing die. But these are the final two weapons in the Ranger sniper rifle wet repertoire. So you've got your Hercules. And July Sanders E. And now, guys, we have seen all the sniper rifles that uh, the Ranger has to offer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've learned something, and hope it gave you a better idea of which sniper rifles to pick for the situation. So as always, guys, take care. God bless, and keep on gaming.